Welcome to Americana Archives. Today's headline is success in one thing, failure in many. It says, how to succeed in our undertakings, I believe, is one of the most vital problems of life. The young ambitious man, who having secured the necessary qualifications, a good and thorough education, starts out upon the pathway of life, will soon discover, to his dismay perhaps, that he has not in his earlier years solved the great and vital problems of life, which he perhaps imagined he had. He must, as Golf says, go and find out what he has to do, and to restrain himself within the limits of his power of comprehension. This of course implies that he must be a man with a high aim and a steadfast purpose, remembering that to fight it out it takes all summer is one of the great and vital secrets to success in life. To solve the problem of life is to find out his mission in this world, whether it be to practice law or medicine, or whether it be farming, mechanics, or engineering. He must concentrate all his energy, all his patience and persistent efforts, or failure is inevitable. For a man who has a single and determined aim, an unyielding determination, as a rule, generally comes through life more readily and far more readily and far more successfully than the versatile class of men whose aspirations are many. As we all know, the many-sided man, that is, the man who wishes to be everything, commonly amounts to nothing. Because a man who attempts everything will never do anything in a masterly way. And I also believe that the best way to solve this problem of getting on in the world is to remember that patient continuance in doing good is the one great keynote to true success. We have, all of us, at some time in our lives, experienced that it is very difficult at times to hear our own voice amid the braying of a discordant multitude. The man who perseveres, in spite of a world of discord, and who does not give up in despair because of seemingly slow results, is the man who succeeds in life. To start out upon one calling and then grow impatient and start upon another which seems to bring quicker returns has caused many a talented young man to fail. But he who concentrates his whole ability and energy on one calling instead of half a dozen or perhaps a dozen kinds of business is the man who builds up a good reputation of his own. In all vocations of life, There is special need of skill and accuracy, but these qualifications cannot be attained by the many-sided man. And therefore, we would conclude that the best way to get on in the world is to choose the one vocation which we seem to be best qualified for, and then, inspired by the spirit of the master, go ahead and success is ours. This story was originally from Word and Works. This story came from the great state of Kentucky, being reported in the Spout Spring Times of April 1st, 1899. Thank you for joining us today. If you want to continue to uncover all of America's lost and forgotten history, then remember before you leave to hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and remember to like and comment below. And we will see you next time on Americana Archives.